Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all doing great. And today's video, we're looking at the best budget board that's compatible with the Ryzen 5 5600G. <laughs> this is what the video suggests. So we have two options. If you would like that video, press on that like button. If you want to see more videos of that kind, subscribe. And let's get to the options. So the first easy, cool, good looking option that I'd recommend right now is going with, an, I believe, an ASRock A520M-HDV from Amazon. You can tell from the listing, this is a board that's in a Ryzen 5 5600G supported out of the box. You don't need any bias update. It went for $70 the first time I checked that out, but right now it's a bit overpriced. So you just might want to wait till the prices go down again. It's pretty easy. You know, AMD boards usually go on sale, but hey, yeah, I just needed you to know that I'm an Amazon affiliate. If you bought the board from the links in the description, I'd get a small kickback. But when I say get it from Amazon and not anywhere else, I'm not saying that because I want commission, but that's only because I don't know if the if you decided to get the same board from any other site, will it be, you know, bias updated to be compatible to 5600G or not? But the second option is that requires a bit of work from you. But hey, if you didn't find the first one, I'd recommend you to go with that one. The Gigabyte A520M-S2H, I think. This is a board that goes for around $60, $65 usually. Now, the biggest selling point to this board that you can do BIOS update using the Q-Flash, you know, feature that Gigabyte has, you don't need a CPU in order to update the device. You only need a flash drive and you power the, power, the board with a power supply. Now, this isn't the, you know, preferable method to someone who is going to build his first gaming PC. But hey, if you built a gaming PC before or you know what it is, or you're a bit cautious, there is a tutorial down in the description on how to update the BIOS. Uh, by a really cool YouTuber. I'll leave a link down below or in the top right corner right now. So, hey, it's pretty easy. It's not that easy to be honest, but it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, that's another board that I'd recommend you to take a look at. But hey, if you really don't know anything about gaming and you're asking yourself why these two boards are the other boards not compatible with the 600 g no, they are compatible, but you need to do a BIOS update. And a BIOS update is you get a, you know, an old CPU, you power on your system with that old CPU, you update the BIOS and then install the 5600G. These are the words that don't require that. Hey, that's been it, guys. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see more videos of that kind, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.